Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I draw some black hairstyles. Okay, I'm going to start with this one first. Um, let me cover this up so I don't get distracted. So for this one, I'm going to do box braids. And how I usually start off is by usually map out like the middle and then do like a grid or you know like the different partings in um box braids and then maybe like this one is like tucked behind your ear So once I've had like a rough outline for like the shape of the braids, um, then I actually start with the braids itself. Let me just... Okay, so sometimes I draw it like this. Go down right here. And then I just repeat that and like curve the outside. So from like the middle that line i draw a new line out and then curve the end and then just repeat that all the way to the end and so you can see the shape round off the top um this way And then I just kind of make like, what is this shape? Like a, like a teardrop or like a heart kind of shape, but with like a line going down the middle. And I kind of repeat that going down. So like, see how like they look similar, but like slightly different. This one looks a bit more thicker and this looks a little flatter, but yeah, whichever like mood I'm in, I just draw whichever. Sometimes I just draw lines, I'm not gonna lie. Especially like at the back where you can't really see and I might put like a line in the middle. It looks kind of strange now, but if you've got like a bunch of them um, and like if you've got like details, detailed ones in the front, and then like you do this in the back you still get the same um effect i think anyway so for this one i'm gonna do that heart one Ooh, running out of lead. and for the top like the beginning i just kind of uh i don't know round it off a bit Should I mix them up? Or should I? Hmm. Yeah, I'll do the other one. Cause why not? And then for the top, I usually make like a part to like separate the boxes and then uh, draw in the hair strokes towards the braid. And then I also add baby hairs. So yeah, that's basically that one finished. On to the next. So for this one, I'm gonna do like um, 
like a typical uh, low cut hairstyle. So this one is pretty simple. I first I start like coloring it. I'm gonna keep this very short, um, but like towards you know the bottom, like towards the ear, I go light with it, like a kind of like a fade, and then um, for texture, sometimes I just. I don't know, sometimes I just do hair strokes and try and like mimic maybe like waves or something. Sometimes I add like texture to kind of show like the cuts and gradually get lighter as I go lower. Maybe make the surface a little um, bumpy so it's not completely smooth. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, very quick, very easy, and yeah. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna do uh, like a short bob-like 4C hair. Um, so first, what I would usually do, I would like map out the parting in the hair, and then I draw like a rough shape, like a rough outline of how I want the hair to look. This is like the rough shape I want. Then you erase the inside. I would kind of make like, um, just kind of push the hair back a bit out of her face. And then I would go in and start like making shapes. With 4C hair, I like to keep it quite like clumpy looking, um, but I will throw in like some loose strands here and there. Now this is where I'll just like fill it with color. And then start to like add um, some texture. and yeah i think i'll stop there for this one i'm gonna do um twists so i've already mapped out the hairline um as usual i will do like the middle uh, and start doing like the boxes. I'll leave a little um, space right there and then kind of draw some more boxes. And I'm gonna leave this part um, empty from like the twist, just leave it like a fade. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get like shape here one here
and then with twists what i do is get this paper um so i draw the shape and then i go like this like um what do you call that like curves and then i round it off on like the sides so it isn't just like flat And usually you'll get like skinnier towards the end and then i would usually like add in some extra like strands in there and then let me just color really quickly something rough like that so just like yeah anyway <laughs> So, I also like to change like the direction of the curve. I don't know, makes it look a little more interesting if they're not all going the same. Um, way And that's basically that. You know what? I think I'll do another one. Um, let me do just like faux locks or something. Okay. So with dreads, with dwarf. Oh my god. <laughs> with dreads, how I go about it is like it's kind of like how I draw twists, but like. Um, instead of me making it like a straight outline like this, I kind of curve it a bit. So, ignore this. <laughs> like this. And then I like start adding in all the little like, um, what do you call it? Twists to it. And I make them like varying in like size. I just add extra strands basically um sometimes i make it like messy and leave some um bits hanging out something like that yep basically kind of make it um like messy looking not exactly like 100 percent neat something like that let me show Let's draw her hairline. Let's do like a patch of hair over here. Mm. We'll round off the beginning and then just kind of draw like different sized um, twists or sections. And like also put some parts in there that aren't like um the same the same angle be messy with it i don't know in the end it should look good um especially when you color it i think but yeah
So in the end, it should look something like this. This one I'm gonna do like, what do you call it? It's like um, the one that ASAP Rocky usually wears. Um, let's get the middle. And then we do the braids. Ooh, this angle is awkward. Let me just tilt. Let me tilt it a lot. <laughs> Yep. What else? What else? Um Okay. Oh, I know. Okay, let's do like um another like a uh, natural hairstyle. Put the fringe here. Um, and maybe like a bun, two buns. Let's do two. Let's make this one a bit more lively. This hair pattern is going to be a little looser. I mostly focus on the outer portions of the um, hair. And then um, I just kind of fill up the inside with color. But I mean, I could, I do put some sh um, strands inside, but I don't know. Ears somewhere there. Other ears here too. had like a load of like loose strands yeah I think I should do one more just to fill up the space
I think I'm done. So this is what it looks like in the end. Um, yeah, I tried to do as many as I could think of. Um, and yeah, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you were able to follow along and it wasn't too, um, it wasn't too quick or too random. But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.